it did not take long for other NFL players and celebrities to weigh in on what they saw. And Brendan Simmons shares their commentary now. Seeing the melee on the gridiron sparked a reaction from just about everyone. Some were shocked and in disbelief, others saying the rivalry is reborn. Most NFL players immediately called for Miles Garrett's suspension. Free agent wide receiver Des Bryant said he's done for the year. He was right. Former quarterback Kurt Warner wondered how Garrett allowed his emotions to go unchecked and swing a helmet at another player's head, adding that he was physically upset when he saw it. Hall of Fame wide receiver Chris Carter made it sound like Garrett's actions are more common than we think, saying Miles Garrett did something he'd only seen in NFL practices. But there were a few who came to Garrett's defense. Akeem Hicks said, if you don't want to get hit with your own helmet, don't run up. Later adding, do you think Rudolph was running up to give Garrett a hug? And Hollywood actor Samuel Jackson said a QB forgot he was a QB and got jacked with his own helmet because he couldn't get the other guy's helmet off. Regardless of what everyone thinks should happen, legendary NBC sports writer Peter King summed it up well. An act not seen in decades requires discipline not seen in decades, particularly in these times when the NFL is trying to clean up the game. Clearly, there's still work to be done. Now, we also found the hashtag, I stand with Miles, where Garrett had many people supporting him. But regardless of whose side you're on, I think we all agree that this fight, fight cast a shadow on what should have been, as Jimmy called it, Sarah, a happy Victory Friday. So true. Thanks, Brandon. Sure.